What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna get out here and we're gonna wash these filthy vehicles, but I got something I wanna try out. It's gonna be this right here. Now I bought this Chemical Guys bucket that you can get at Walmart. This comes with like soap and wheel cleaner. So now the real question today is gonna be, does this thing work or is it just a marketing scheme? Now what this is, this is the insert you put into the bottom of the bucket and when you wash your mitten out, what it's supposed to do is trap the dirt below it so that way you're not putting it back onto the vehicle to scratch them. Well, I'm gonna test this out because in my mind, this might just be a good marketing technique they got going on to make you spend a little bit more money for a thing that probably cost a penny to make. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash these two filthy vehicles here. And we're gonna start with my wife's 4Runner because we all know if you need to find an extra dirty vehicle, you can just go to your wife's and it's probably filthy. So go ahead and give it a bath for her. She'll love it. So we're gonna hit that up and then we're gonna check and see how much dirt's left in the bottom of the bucket here. And then we're gonna hit the old Z piece and give it a bath and see how much dirt gets trapped under these. All right, so now both of these vehicles are absolutely filthy. We have a newborn, so there hasn't really been a good time to get out here and get them clean. So this is gonna be a true test. They are covered in dirt. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna pressure wash them first. That way I can try to get knock as much off as possible. So that way we're not scratching the vehicle or minimizing our chance of scratching the vehicle. I'm gonna try to do this just by the book because this is my first time using this system. This normally isn't how I wash a vehicle, but it's kind of along the same lines, you know, top down, don't contaminate areas. So it's not gonna be too much different. It's just gonna be using this bucket with the little filter trap here. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna spray off the wheels here. And I'm actually gonna use the Diablo wheel cleaner that came in the set. I'm gonna try it out. And I will say it has a very strong bubblegum scent to it. I don't really care for the you know, scented soap, but it is what it is. It seemed to work pretty good cleaning out the rims here. They did have a lot of brake dust caked onto them. So I went ahead and cleaned those off before I get to the rest of the vehicle because I don't want to spray any of that contamination up onto the paint after I've already cleaned it. So after we've pressure washed got all the wheels clean, got them done, we're gonna move on to pressure washing the entire vehicle off so that way we can get that dirt and grime off that we just sprayed up onto the vehicle. And you can see we're just gonna start from top to bottom and work our way down. You know, we wanna ensure that we really blast off all that dirt we can before we ever get to scrubbing it. So now that we got all that you know, pressure washed down, it's time to break out the soap and see if this thing really works. Oh, and do me a favor. If you're one of those people that does have this combination in your garage like thousands of Americans do, make sure you hit subscribe for me and help out my new channel here because I try to grow my second channel on YouTube. Thanks guys. So now we got everything washed down, it's time to get our bucket ready. So I went ahead and put the dirt filter in the bottom here, fill my bucket up with water about three quarters full. I'm gonna break out the Mr. Pink soap that came with it. Now, first thing I noticed on the wheel cleaner, it smells like bubble gum, and that is way overkill because it is so strong. And I don't really care if my rims smell like bubble gum when it comes to cleaning them. So we're going to ahead and use this. I think it's one to two ounces for the bucket here. And now you could also use your foam cannon if you wanted to. This is one of the cheap foam cannons off Amazon. And I will say the $13 foam cannon on Amazon works great. If you don't want to spend so much money on the real expensive ones, I'll leave a link for it below. I've used this for like three years now, no problem. So just a, oh. Might have to open it first. <laughs> oh, it was already cracked open because it spilled all down the side in the packaging. All right, so I'm gonna give this three squirts. And that's gonna be it. That should be enough. So that we'll use that, Mr. Pink. And now I'm gonna open up my brand new wash mitt here. It's my microfiber wash mitt that came in the bucket set. I can't remember this bucket set was like $30, $35, I think. So what I will do is I'll leave links for this in case you're interested and get one. And I'll give you my opinion on it after I get done washing these. But I'm going to open this up, rinse it out, and we'll get started.
All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of this washing here. You can't do it so much time lapse on the YouTube before you start losing people. So I'm gonna finish this up and then we're we'll gonna come right back to this bucket and see how it looks. All right, so we just finished washing the car. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give this mitt one more little wash out here. And now I gotta figure out how to get this water, the top half of this water out of this bucket because obviously if I just let it sit here, all that dirt's gonna sail to the bottom naturally. So we need to get it out so we can check what's in that bottom inch of water here and then we'll know if it really traps some dirt. All right, so I got this taken down to this that last little bit of water right here just over top of the filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this now settle because that's what would be trapped in there anyways. I'll come back and take this out and we'll see how much dirt is trapped in the bottom of this. But until then, I need to get this dried off so that way I don't get water spots. All right, so here you go. Side by side shot showing how clean it is. There's a good little friction here. Matter of fact, let me move around to the sun side and show you. All right, here we go. Like glass. Look at that. See my reflection perfectly in there. pretty dirty we'll see how much settles to the bottom in there but there's right much trapped in there all right now so i have this turtle wax wet and black tire shine here i feel like i picked this up because it's all i could find at the time i think they're at walmart or something was low but if you would would you guys comment below and tell me what type of tire shine you use that's not gonna spray off or you know sling off on the side of the car i used to use something called nitro it used to work great but i feel like we can't find it anymore so i don't know if they quit making it or if you guys know leave it in the comments below and let me know that would help me out a ton because I really don't like this crap. It seems to run and sling off and then you get spots on the other side of the vehicle way too bad. So let me know on that one. All right, so let's check this thing out. You can see there's still a pretty good amount of dirt that hasn't settled yet. I also have a fly that's got in here or a yellow jacket. You can see some flakes floating in there. Look at that. Look at that line right there. You see that dark line forming? That is dirt. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. See that dirt line going across there? I'll tell you what, I'll take a picture and actually show it, but there's a really good thing of dirt across there. So from what I can tell, this thing actually did work. It did trap some dirt. So it's not just a marketing scheme. I guess it's actually pretty smart. Hmm? Go figure, science. So I'm actually gonna get over here and watch the truck now. I'm not gonna put you through that. This is gonna be the end of today's video. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit a like for me. You thought this thing was gonna work to start with. With all that said, this is Shane Heath. I'll see you in the next video.